Janko Tupsarevich, thank you for being with us on WeAreTennis.com. Thank you for having me. Gosh, tell me about your ad campaign. Are hey, you taking it all off, my man? Yeah, I bet. Uh, <laughs> Uh, we started talking uh, at the beginning of the year and finally it came to life somewhere before the US tour. They decided to start the campaign before the Davis Cup. And uh, I saw the pictures. I didn't see the billboards, but apparently my friends are telling me that I'm half naked all over the city. So that's, uh, well, <laughs> I want to say, no, I wanna it say not good, but actually it's, you know, I. I, I feel really happy because I can relate to the company. Uh, uh, they started off really small, let's say a couple of years back, and th now they are in, if I'm not mistaken, over 15 or 16 countries in Eastern Europe, you know? Russia, Poland, Czech Republic, and all, you know. And the company is, you know, I'm not telling you because I'm wearing it, but it's really been growing fast in the last couple of years. Be careful on how you word things about growing fast and okay, things. Okay, okay, <laughs> okay. But it is a Serb company. Uh, uh, extreme, uh, uh, extreme in intimo. intimo. Yes. They, they, you know, chose me because obviously tennis is big in Serbia. I'm doing, I'm doing well. But uh, they kind of, how they explain it, they kind of relate who I am and and how do I behave with the name of the of the company you know like extreme or whatever that, that was their you know goal so uh, you know so far it's, it's been great I, I, I am happy let's uh, I think we're gonna do one more photo shoot uh, at the end of the year so <laughs> new pictures are gonna come out <laughs> but uh, you know I cannot say I'm not happy okay now, how hard was it to do it? Were you a bit self-conscious? Were you a bit shy getting all your gear off in front of so many people and cameras and all that? Uh, I wasn't shy. I just remember it was extremely difficult because uh, we were supposed to do two days of shooting. I think uh, seven hours each day. But because of the busy schedule that I had, I... Uh, did it all in one day so the photo shoot was 13 or more hours long and it was really 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 exhausting you know i remember i was uh, coming from my holidays and actually the the campaign you know helped me practice self-control because normally when i'm on on vacation i intend to eat a lot of junk food you know and the pictures were taken after the the, the vacation so i was really you know, subconsciously knowing that I'm supposed to be half naked on them, so I was eating like really, really good and proper food. What, what is it with you guys? Nadal with his underwear, Vadasco with his underwear. You guys can't keep your clothes on. What, next, what? A calendar? I I don't know. You know, I I can I can only say you know that I'm I'm uh, extremely happy <laughs> with the with the with the campaign that the guys did. You know. There's nothing to be ashamed of. Most of the guys on tour there have, have good bodies. They're not afraid to, to show them off. And if the, the people are happy, if the company is happy, then we are happy. How do you enjoy the added attention? Not just from the ad campaign, but also from what's been a huge year for you. Uh, I feel that the attention from the ad campaign will come when I come back to Serbia because the billboards just started now. And uh, but the attention on tour, I feel a small difference. But and then on the other hand, I f I'm feeling also that I deserved it. You know, I was practicing really hard. I am determined this year to do well, to be top 20, top 15, maybe even top 10. And uh, at the end of the day, if you play good, if you sac uh, sacrifice is a strong word, but if you have strong determination and will, at the end, in most cases, it pays off. So couple more questions. Um, how did your wife feel about the ad campaign? Uh, I think good. You yeah. know, she was actually the one who, who she found... She get jealous? <laughs> no, she was actually the one who found the, the, the campaign. You know, I, uh, I have to put on Twitter every now and then that I love my wife. Yeah. <laughs> that says in the contract. No, I'm kidding. But, uh, uh, yeah, she's apparently very happy and proud about her husband. Mm -hmm. That's what she says. 
All right, we're going we're gonna to have a look at, at some of the, um, the campaign after this, which I'll tape from YouTube okay. and uh, ATP World Tour. And, and two more questions. Firstly, do you wear the underwear when you're playing at all times? I mean, should it be something that Rafa will wear and you no, stop, you know, doing what? I'm actually wearing compression underwear. And uh, since getting this getting a bit personal here. No, no, I mean, uh, uh, the kind of underwear that tightens your muscles so they stay warm until the end of the match. But I'm actually, since this is a, a lifestyle underwear company, uh, I've been talking to them to maybe start making and producing underwear for sports and for athletes, which I would definitely wear. Yeah, and last thing is, I mean, I've seen the campaign. I know what it is in that they superimposed your head on my body okay. in that campaign. It, it so, looks any you know, good on, on, I mean, I think it look, the company it looks, is bankrupt already. You know, <laughs> I mean, if they're going to be supplying me with underwear, they're going to be very bankrupt. Okay. Now we're going to take a look at some of these shots. Janka Tupsarevic, thanks very, very much for your time. Thank you for having me.